Hi everyone, and welcome. It's me, Joseph the Lycan Rock Ranger. Today is Endangered Species Day, so I am going to start something that I hope to be an annual thing. That being that I'm going to go over extinct animals that are in various franchises, and go over how many are in there, and generally update it every year. The first video in this set is going to be Magic the Gathering. With that out of the way, let's roll the intro, and let's get started. One quick thing before I get started, that being that works and images used will be in the description of the video. Starting off, we have the Aurochs, one of my favorite extinct animals as I have built a very interesting tribal deck around Aurochs. One thing that hurts though taking it into Commander from 60 card casual is that while there's a lot of tribal synergy, there's only four. And I feel if they just made a few more Aurochs, or just one with the Relentless Rats line of text, it could be a very viable commander deck that I definitely would build. Next we have Cave Hyenas. This is really only seen on one card, potentially that being Yannick from Commander 2020, something that I think I may have seen argued first on EDH rec. It is altered somewhat though from what an actual Cave Hyena would be, most notably the Horns but it's still quite possibly a cave hyena, so that is at least something. Following that are dinosaurs and all the dinosaur-like ones that have just been typed dinosaur. There is a lot of these, but they aren't as recent of an extinction. So while they are extinct, they didn't go extinct due to human causes, so they probably don't motivate people for conservation reasons as much as other extinct animals would. Then we have Dire Wolves. Seen in only two cards, one is older as it's from the Ice Age block, the other is much more recent. Dire Wolves do generally need better cards though as while the two cards currently are fine, they're not amazing. Following that we have Ground Sloths. There is definitely at least one more different looking one from Strixhaven, and then potentially a much more different looking one from Masks that's really only even being considered for this video because of the name. So there probably should be more ground sloths. Following that are Hipparians, which have exactly one card from my stage that was reprinted in 5th. And that is it. Then our Mammoths. Unlike a lot of the other extinct animals that aren't dinosaurs, at least type dinosaur in this video, there are actually a decent amount of mammoths, and actually a few of them are actually pretty good. Then we have mastodons. These have less cards than mammoths do, and they tend to be less good than mammoths are on average. Following that is the megalodon, which has one singular common, and that is it. Then there is the moa, which has two cards, one of which I really like, that being the bronze beak moa shown here. Then there are Smilodons, or Sabertooth Tigers. There are a few of these, but only one of them is really noteworthy, that being Temur Sabertooth. After that, there are Tarpons, which, like Hipparians, there is a single one from Ice Age that was reprinted in 5th, and that is it. Finally, we have Trilobites. There are a few of these throughout Magic's history, but like dinosaurs, they are a more older extinction that weren't caused by humans. So, in conclusion, there were only around 13 groups of extinct animals in all of Magic. Of these, only 8 are from the Holocene, and only 3 are from the last 600 years. So, possibly Magic could print more to help more extinct animals be more well known. So, that concludes the 2022 update for Magic the Gathering Extinct Animals. What do you think of the amount of extinct animals and the ones that are represented in Magic the Gathering? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye!